you have your blood gas from your machine. Let's look at this. pH, PCO2, PO2, bicarb, base excess. At the very top, it says 37 degrees Celsius. That's the temperature for this blood gas. It is not temp corrected. We will not look at that today. We will look at 37 degrees only. Let's look at this blood gas. We've got our printout from our machine. We've taken a look at the printout and we said, that's a lot of information. So let's just look at the top section of that sheet, which I have put here on the board. And here we have a temperature, 37 degrees Celsius. Now what does that mean? That means that this temperature is 98.6, or perfect body temperature. And this is the blood gas at that temperature. That's a great thing if your patient is 37 degrees Celsius. Here we have a pH 7.41, CO2 36.8, PO2 454.9, bicarb 22.9, and a base excess minus 1.3. The base excess is essentially how low he has gone down from normal for most bicarb. Now, are these out of the normal range? No, this is in normal range. This is in normal range. This is really high. We'll put a circle around that. Do you want to change your pH? No, we would leave it right alone. It's perfect in the normal range. What about our CO2? It doesn't matter what our CO2 is because our pH is in the normal range and we always control for a normal pH. So we would manipulate these to get a normal pH. Since our pH is normal, we don't want to do anything with our CO2. But our CO2 is also in the normal range, so you wouldn't want to do anything with it. Bicarb is within the normal range. Essentially, this is a normal blood gas, except it is hyperoxygenated. But what about all this acute uncompensated respiratory alkalosis? If it's normal, well, we just classified that so we could tell if it was compensating, uncompensating. But since this is all within normal range, we can cross that out now and say, look, this is just a normal blood gas that is hyperoxygenated. Do you want to do anything with this? Of course, you want to fix this back to a normal number. So then you have to say, well, what is this patient on? What kind of oxygenation? Is he on room air? Room air is 21%. 21% times your air equation is going to give you something around 99 millimeters of Hg for your PO2. So since this is nowhere near it, this is not on room air. There's two choices here. This is a massive error. And you could say, what would cause that error? Error. But it's massively larger than an air bubble error. And the other thing, it could be caused because he is on oxygen, added oxygen. So he has added oxygen. In this case, our pH is fine, our CO2 is fine, our PO2 is way too high, and we could deduce one of the others by looking at the patient. A blood gas result in a vacuum is useless. You have to look at the patient to see what's going on. So we'll go over and we'll take a look. We saw Mr. Dunkasaurus over there. We saw Mr. Dunkleosiosis over there, and he may be on the ventilator now. Let's hypothetically say he's on an aerosol face mask, 50%. Well, what would we want to do? We would want to go over to Mr. Dunkleosiosis and turn his FiO2 down. We can move quickly on this because he is very high. So in this result, you would look at this blood gas and you say, well, all I want to do is change the FiO2. Let's just look at this again and say, Mr. Osseosius, Mr. Dunkel Osseos is on 100%, a respiratory rate of 12, a tidal volume of 600, a PEEP 
of 5 and a pressure support of 10. So he's on a ventilator. Oh my gosh, we have a blood gas on Mr. Dunkyosilus, who's now on a ventilator. I got these results. I don't know what to do. He's on a ventilator. Oh, look at the pH. It's fine. Don't do anything. Look at the CO2. It's fine. Don't do anything. Look at the PO2. It's really, really high. Let's turn him down. Now, as you can see, we're on the ventilator settings I've made up and I've written on the board here. It's 100%. So we want to, just like we did before, turn him down. And we would turn him down whenever you're above 50% FiO2. You're in what I call the dead zone. The dead zone is oxygen toxicity. So if you come in and you have a patient who has a high PaO2, it's going to be greater than 100. Greater than 100 is a high PO2. It's hyperoxygenated. Turn that patient down. Get him out of the dead zone as quickly as you can and get him below 50%. You have the blood gas here. You have the blood gas results from your form. Look at that form and tell me what FiO2 this patient is on. The FiO2 is not listed there on that paper saying FiO2 75%. But there are some ways that you can calculate using the alveolar air equation the FiO2 from those results. We'll talk more about this tomorrow. But here we have a normal blood gas that has a high PO2, turn him down. Thank you very much.